Good afternoon, uh, good morning. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you from here in Tallahassee at one of the parks here. And um, subject of the day is uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Training camp is, uh, uh, the Dallas Cowboys is headed to Oxnard, uh, California to, uh, today and they'll be practicing tomorrow. And uh, we'll be on Hard Knocks. And um, and I was looking at uh, one of the talk shows on uh, on the talk show on the clock, starring um, Mike Greenberg, the anchor man for that uh, for ESPN. Um, he's a head analyst, and uh, he constantly um, throw shades at the Dallas Cowboys so much to to get um, clicks uh, for people to watch the channel. Uh, for the get ratings and everything, knowing because people they if people say positive or a lot of negative things about the Dallas Cowboys, a lot of people all over the world is going to watch it because the because the Dallas Cowboys we bring greatness uh, and because um, it's been a great franchise uh, and it bring negative because whenever somebody for the Dallas Cowboys does something. Um, out of the ordinary or does do something wrong is going to be on those talk shows like first take um speaking um of the uh, um speaking um i can't think of another channel with this dog uh, that's come on in the, in the afternoon but um i know first take with uh steven a uh, with uh shannon sharp skip baylor's um Another talk show to come on early before that, um, it, starring um, uh, Dan Orlowski and all the other people, they're going to talk bad about the Dallas Cowboys. So getting back to the subject of that, Mike Greenberg was at, asking Mike Tannenbaum what did he think, how Dallas was going to do, and um, what his predictions was. And um, they're going to be on because they're going to be on hard knocks, and um, there's no there's been no drama this season for the Dallas Cowboys. Even though last season they went six and uh, six and uh, eleven, um, the year before they went um, seven and nine, then eight and eight and eight and eight with uh, with um, and eight and eight with um, redhead uh, Jason Garrett. We all kind of glad that Jason Garrett is gone right now, and he's moved on to the uh, stinking football Giants, which is I'm happy for that. But Mike Greenberg, he constantly. Uh, throw rocks at us and hide his hand and then and, 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 and make these um, kind of remarks to the point where uh, it's, it's not laughable anymore how uh, these guys make money off us to, to, to better their careers and everything. So Mike Tannenbaum brought, brought the truth and told the truth that the Dallas Cowboys has the better, we got the better offense, better receivers, better quarterback. And, um, and even though we had a bunch of injuries last season because the offensive line, almost all the starters was lost for the entire season. We had th second string and third string offensive linemen uh, playing last season. And then when Dakota got injured against the Atlanta Falcons in the fifth game of the season, got his, uh, I mean, against the Giants, when he get, it was, I'm sorry, I apologize, it was against the Giants. When he got his uh, ankle broken, uh, things went down and he was on pace to break the all-time passing record in the entire NFL history. Understand me now. He was on pace to break that record, and uh, and they got these polls out right now where the t they got the top ten best quarterbacks in the league for this new season, and he's ranked number seven. And uh, Mike Greenberg, um, and uh, and this other guy, uh, Calvin Cowherd, uh, uh, he th he been throwing shades at the Dallas Cowboys too and he said there's no way in the world that uh, Dakota Prescott should be ranked 7th he should be about 15th uh, or 17th or 21 somewhere around there and saying that the quarterback used to, uh, that used to play for the uh, Detroit Lions uh, that played at Georgia um, he's now with the Los Angeles Rams and uh, that he that he's better than Dakota Prescott but we all know that's not true he's nowhere near better than Dakota Prescott and uh, but they do that to to uh, to upset our fan base, and 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 then plus to uh, 
to, to boost their shows up because they want people to watch their shows because the more people watch their shows, the more money they make and the ratings goes up. And then, and, and, and the, when people does that, there's young, fan, young fans of other teams and young people think it's the gospel. And half of the time, it's not the gospel, it's false. It's made up propaganda and falseness to hurt instead of to, uh, to show, the, to tell the truth. So uh, Mike Tannenbaum was telling the truth that he think that Dallas is gonna be great. Jeff Saturday, uh, he's one of the analysts on the panel on the, uh, on the clock uh, show. And he was saying the same thing that uh, what he, he expect. And so um, um, NFL Network, Kyle Brandt, uh, he's a hater. He, he's one of those haters. When he was over in, um, I, I believe, Australia on his summer break or whatever, he was constantly for the last month or so downgrading the Cowboys. And now he's back in New York on that show, but he was born on the show over there. And he constantly throwing shades against the Dallas Cowboys and everything and what he expects and saying that Dallas is not capable capable of doing this, even though we got a great offense and everything. And uh, and Ezekiel Elliott looked better in practice and everything. And he's uh, been working on himself and everything, even though last season he turned the ball over and fumbled a lot, which is true. But the, all, everything that went wrong was not all Dakota Prescott's fault. It was co it was bad coaching, uh, bad um, uh not only bad coaching, preparation was awful. It was cause of COVID. We had no, we had no uh, training camp. We had we had no togetherness to work for this team and everything. And so now the way things are right now, I, I'm expecting that Dallas uh, will get it together this year. In the off season, we uh, I, uh, Jerry Jones hired uh, the mighty Dan Quinn from the Atlanta Falcons, head coach, and he used to be the Seattle Seahawks defensive coordinator when they won the Super Bowl and took him to another Super Bowl. He was that great of a coach. I think with his great a aspect of coaching and, and knowing the needs of his team, and, and then um, Mike Nolan, when he was here, he was a disaster. He changed from a 4-3 to a 3-4 defense uh, uh, offset formation, and the scheme and the, and the technique they was using, these players wasn't used to it, and, they, and he wasn't, he was to me, he wasn't a good teacher. He was, uh, as fans, we could see, because most, some of us fans have played the game, have coached the game, refereed the game. I'm one of them. I played football, I coached football, and officiated it. And so, when, I, when I'm watching a football game, I'm not just, just watching it as a fan, I'm watching it as a person to understand what's going on and what's happening. I can tell when I watch a game from the first quarter before second quarter, who's basically gonna win the game. And have more than, 75 to 80 percent of the time I, I'm right uh, even though there's times when I've been wrong but there's times I've been right that I can see the Dallas Cowboys my wife will ask me what I think and I tell her the truth I said the Dallas Cowboys gonna lose this game and she said she asked me why I give her the definition why the understanding why and what's going on in the game and everything and uh and all those aspects has something to do with it even though last season was a d disaster it's time for us to move past that that's over and done with things. There's nothing we can do about it. But guess what? This is going to be a, a great, exciting season. We got the Hall of Fame game coming up where our Dallas Cowboys will be going against our old rivals, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, and uh, and I'm and I'm happy about that. I wish I could go to the Hall of Fame game just to see the great legendary um, Drew Pearson going to the Hall of Fame, Cliff Harris going to the Hall of Fame, and Jimmy Johnson. I a famous head coach from the Miami Hurricane, uh, Hurricanes and, and helped Dallas won two world championships in the 90s. He's going to Hall of Fame. So uh, it's going to be a, uh, a great year. I know I've, we're going to probably have a lot of fan, fans there at the Hall of Fame game. And um, I can see that this is going to be something special. Our quarterback is back. He's looking great. They've been showing him at practices. They've been showing him at his house because he got a uh, field at his house where he practiced and everything. And he, and um uh, and been uh, uh, a good rapport with the, other, the receivers on the team like um, uh, uh, Mari Cooper, Michael Gallup, uh, C.D. Lamb. We got three great wide receivers. Any one of them could be a number one if they was on another team. And so uh, uh, Schultz is our tight end. And uh, one of our other uh, uh, tight ends coming back, they played at Oklahoma. He'll be coming back and everything and stuff. So, But I, my aspect of what I think the season is going to be, uh, if we can uh, take one day at a time, and when we go to practice at this um, and a uh, uh, training camp and hard knocks, and um, 
things will help because uh, Mike Greenberg uh, uh, brought up the subject about the great legendary Vince Lombardi during the time when he, the players didn't like it, but he would film their practices. And when they, and the players knew that they were being filmed, that would, they would play even harder to prove to the great legendary Vince Lombardi that they want to be special, they want to be amazing, they want to be something to, to, for him to be proud of and, and, and let the coach know that they're giving a 110% and not just half-stepping. So I think this is a great thing that we're gonna be on half, hard knocks because these, these young this young generation want everything microwave. They want everything computerized. They want everything with this new technology. They want it right now, but it doesn't work that way. In order for the Dallas Cowboys to be a great team again, uh, our weaknesses is defense. We got a great offense. If our offense averages between 30 to 35 points per game, I say from 30 to 35 points per game, and uh, and on defense ranked um, uh, on third down, maybe ranked at um, between 12 and 15, somewhere around there, on third down, not giving up on giving giving up third down first downs, uh, and on and and on our special teams uh, players play better. Well, uh, and we get us some good field goal kickers and, and stop missing field goals and turning the ball, ball over, uh, fumbling on a kick return, punt return, uh, and play better field position. I think this, gonna, this could be a great year. And it's, um, I, I picked us to win 11 games or more. I picked us to beat and upset the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the, the defending Super Bowl champions, which it can be done. This young generation think that I'm um, – well, Making uh, making up stories that this can is not possible. Anything is possible when it comes down to sports. Any, on any given day, you can be beat. Any given day, I don't care who you are, where you are, where you come from. Football is a game of inches. Get if it's a game of tech uh, technician, it's a game of um, dealing with people. You're dealing with referees and officials. And the, and the one thing about that, officials can can help you or hurt you or hinder you, and to the point where you cannot. Uh, uh, win a game, but back in the 70s, the Dallas Cowboys so powerful, they would take over games and win the games themselves and not depend on need, need an official to help them to win a game. Because most of the time, uh, most officials are not there to, to, to help you. They're there to, uh, because they being biased because they could be a fan of the team you're playing or another team and don't want you to prosper. So, But I'm putting it like this. The Dallas Cowboys has the opportunity to be great. They have the opportunity to be something special. And I really do think it's going to be this year. Um, all the other YouTubers I've been watching, like uh, Joe Boo Sports, Big Game James, Skywalker Steel, Cowboy Fan Talk, Mr. Rome, Fisher Report, uh, Boss Cowboy. Um, and there's another one. I it's got a guy got a country uh, accent. I can't think of his name right now. And I've been watching them and, I, and other uh, YouTube channels I watch. I watch... Um, I try to get much information as I can and study up on what's going around the world of sports and especially football. So as American uh, team fans, as America's team, uh, you be blessed. Brothers and sisters of the nation, put God first in your lives. Love one another, help one another, be encouraged. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here at one of the parks in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, I'm encouraged about this season and I'm looking forward to it. I really do hope and pray that things are going to get better for us. Thank you. Have a wonderful and a blessed, lo lovely God day. Thank you.